I want to share with you a great story about a mommy, a princess, and a baby boy named Moses. Can you say Moses? Moses! There was a mean king ruling the country where God's people lived. He was especially mean to God's people and made them work extra hard. He even decided that he wanted to get rid of all the baby boys. This was a very mean king who did not show love to others. Let me see you make a really mean face like the mean king. Whoa, those are some mean faces for sure. There was one family who had a baby boy named Moses. They loved baby Moses so much and they wanted to keep him safe from the mean king. So God gave Moses' mommy an amazing idea. Sometimes when I have a good idea, I like to say, aha. Maybe that's what Moses' mommy said too. Let me hear you say that after me. Aha! Aha! Moses' mommy made a basket that would float in the river and keep whatever was inside the basket nice and dry. Then she put baby Moses into the basket and let him float down the river. But did you see someone who stayed to watch over baby Moses? That was Moses' big sister Miriam. She always loved Moses. So she stayed close by, making sure her baby brother was okay. A little later, the mean king's daughter, the princess, found the basket floating in the water. When she saw baby Moses inside, she loved him. Can all my pit crew members pretend to give little baby Moses a loving hug? We can always show love by giving hugs. Miriam wanted to show love to her little brother too. So she spoke up and said, can I help you find someone to take care of this baby boy? The princess said yes, and you will never believe who Miriam got to help take care of Moses. She ran home and got her mom, Moses' mommy, to take care of him. Moses' mommy, his sister, and the princess always showed love to Moses. As you are in the garage and out on the track today, don't forget that God wants you to always show love to others too. Hey, why don't you say this after me before you vroom away? Always show. Always show. Love. Love. You've got it. Well, it looks like you're ready to race. Make your way to the starting line and keep an eye out for the green flag. It's going to let you know when it's time to go.